Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of e raised to 2x tan e raised to 2x dx. So we have integrals of trigonometric functions. So here are the formula that we can use to evaluate the integrals of trigonometric functions. So you just need to memorize them when evaluating integrals of trigo functions. So for our problem here, before we can apply the formula for integrals of trigo function, let's use u substitution first. So I can let u be equal to e raised to 2x, getting the derivative of both sets, derivative of u, it's du. Derivative of e raised to 2x, that will be e raised to 2x times, by chain rule, multiplied by the derivative of the exponent 2x, that will be 2. Or I'll just put it here in front. So we'll have 2 e raised to 2x dx. So here we have created the e raised to 2x dx term on the regular integral. Let's just get rid of this extra coefficient of 2 by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So we will have du over 2 is equal to e raised to 2x dx. So substituting in the original integral, we will have integral of tangent e raised to 2x which is now equal to u. And then this e raised to 2x dx is equal to du over 2. So this over 2 or a constant of 1 half, I can just put in front of the integral first. So I will have 1 half times the integral of tan u du. So we will have 1 half times the integral of tan u du looking at the formula here. It's equal to negative ln cosine u plus c or ln of second u plus c. So they are just the same. So if you use the negative ln of cosine u, we will have negative 1 half ln of cosine u plus c. And transforming back the u in terms of e raised to 2x, we will have negative 1 half ln of cosine of e raised to 2x plus c. We can also use the other one, the second one. So we will have the same answer as 1 half ln of second u plus c or Transforming back the u in terms of e raised to 2x. We will have 1 half ln of second e raised to 2x plus c. So these are the final answers. For number 2, we have the integral of second of ln x squared over x dx. So let's apply u substitution first. So I can let u be equal to ln of x squared, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of its du, derivative of ln x squared, so that will be 1 over u, the u is x squared, times the derivative of u by chain rule, so derivative of x squared is 2x dx. So simplifying, we will have du is equal to, cancel this x, we will have 2 over x dx. So notice that we have created this term, dx over x in the original integral. We just get rid of this extra coefficient of 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So we will have du over 2 is equal to dx over x. Substituting in the original integral, we will have the integral of second. ln x squared is equal now to u. And then this dx over x is equal to du over 2. So this over 2, this is just a constant of 1 half. I can just put in front of the integral first. So I will have 1 half times the integral of second to du. So we will have 1 half times the integral of second to du looking at the formula. It's equal to ln of second u plus tan u plus c. So therefore, we will have 1 half times integral of second to du which is ln of second u plus tan u plus c. Let's just transform back the u in terms of ln x squared. So we will have 1 half ln of second u which is ln x squared plus tan u again ln x squared plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. For number 3, we have the integral of cotangent x minus 3 cosecant x quantity squared dx. 
So, we can expand first the square of the binomial. So, applying the shortcut, we square the first term. So, we will have cotangent squared x. Then, plus the product of the first and the second. So, cotangent x times negative 3 cosecant x. Then, we still the multiply them by 2. Then, plus the square of the second term, negative 3 cosecant x, quantity square, dx. Simplifying, we will have the integral of cotangent squared x plus 2 times cot x times negative 3 cosecant x. That will be negative 6 cot x cosecant x. Then, getting the square of negative 3 cosecant x, that will be positive 9 cosecant squared x dx. So, we have three terms on the integrals. We can evaluate already the integral of cot x cosecant x. There is an existing formula for this, which is the integral of cosecant u cot u du is negative cosecant u. Likewise, for the integral of cosecant squared x, we already have a formula for that. The integral of cosecant squared u du is equal to negative cot u plus c. But for the first term, cotangent squared x dx, there's no existing formula for that. We can evaluate this by applying the Pythagorean identity. So, cotangent squared x is the same as cosecant squared x minus 1. Then copy the remaining expression, negative 6 cot x cosecant x plus 9 cosecant squared x dx. We can combine similar terms. This cosecant squared x plus 9 cosecant squared x, that's equal to 10 cosecant squared x. Then I'll write this first, negative cot x cosecant x, finally this minus 1 dx. So I can distribute the integral symbol together with the dx, so I can integrate term by term. So we will have the integral of 10 cosecant squared x. This 10 is constant. I'll just put in front of the integral. So we have 10 integral of cosecant squared x dx. Then minus the integral of 6 cot x cosecant x. So this 6 again is constant. Put in front of the integral. So negative 6 integral of cot x cosecant x. Then minus the integral of 1 dx or simply integral of dx. Evaluating the integral, so we will have 10 integral of cosecant squared x dx. So that's equal to negative cot x. So we have 10 times negative cot x. Then minus 6 times integral of cot x cosecant x. That will be negative cosecant x. So negative 6 times negative cosecant x. Then minus the integral of dx which is just x. Then don't forget the plus C. Simplifying 10 times negative cot x, that will be negative 10 cotangent x. Negative 6 times negative cosecant x, that will be positive 6 cosecant x minus x plus C. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn to so try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.